going same trauma, the same stuff that I feel. Will I leave this earth? This something? Can I please feel something real? Life's a bitch, no fairy tales, no such thing as happy endings. Can I get some real friends? Like my picture, like I'm. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy D Wash here back with another banger man. As today's video is about to get litty and crazy. I know that I have not posted a video in about three months. You know, I've been talking to you know people on my Instagram and Snapchat, all that, but I'm back. You already know the deal is. I got my boy Rostin here. So you know, say what's up to the gang. You know, he's got his third gen flatbed dually right here. You know, we'll fix my review his truck. He's got something done to that truck though. So we're about to go check it out and see and stuff. And I just want to apologize to all my subscribers that I have not posted a video in the past three months, but don't worry, I'm back. But anyways, let's get right to it on gang. Alrighty guys, so we got my boy Robson here. So this is the owner. You already know the deal is. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave his Instagram on the video right here, guys. Tell me what you got on this third gen, man. All right, so for starters, it is a, it's an 06 3500. And it's got, for the out for the outside of it, it's got a aftermarket headlights. They're from Amazon, cheap, you know. But it's got custom, 22 custom cut alcoves with uh, 37 1350s, Nito Ridge Grapplers. And then I got an eight inch Fox, Fox suspension. So this is an eight inch? Yeah, it's an eight inch. All right. All powder coated white. <clears throat> Alrighty, so look at his truck, because I know that the suspension is different between the Dodges and the Fords. So this is an eight inch, and this is a four and a half inch lift right here on my truck. And also another thing is, is that to all my subscribers, is that I've changed my headlights. So to all my, you know, F250s from 99 to 07 F250 fans out there, if y'all want to check out these headlights, these headlights, I got them from eBay. They're very, very cheap. Like I got them from one to say for like 60 bucks. And I finally took the wrap out, out of my grill, like the kitty wrap that I've been talking about all on on, but I finally got it done. But I'm getting it painted. I mean, I just didn't have time to do all that painting stuff because you know, we're hard workers, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're already hard workers. And of course I still haven't got my lift on, but yeah, so this is the comparison between his eight inch lift on his Dodge and compare the four and a half inch on mine. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, when you think they look like even, right? Yeah, they're even, but also, I also got bags in the back. You got, you got bags? Yeah, I got bags. Man, I wanted bags, but I wanted to get like the airlift bags on mine, but. Right now I'm just dropping it down. It might not look like much, but that's with it fully out, fully drop down. I ride, I ride, I keep it on about 20 pounds. It rides smooth, nothing else. But if I, if I pull in a trailer, I'll put it up about 50, 60 pounds. Got it level. All right, all right. And then uh, I just actually got done color match these, but I'm about to get replace these and get uh, switch back fourth gens. All right. And then I'm about to do switch back door handles. They're gonna be fourth gen, or third gen door handles, mm -hmm. color match. And then I'm thinking about doing a Western hauler bed, or I think I'm gonna do a, a welding rig flatbed. Welding rig flatbed? Yeah. So, let me check out the inside of this damn thing, man. Like I said, it's Ooh, a- Oh, hold on. It's an 06. It's, a, it's got a G56 uh, trans in it. Six speed. Hell yeah. I like manual. Manuals is the shit, but- You're running son of a bitch. Oh yeah. I heard it smokes right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tune four gets a little rowdy. Tune five, really rowdy. Really rowdy. Okay. So we're fixing mine to check that out. So we're fixing mine to do some clips of his truck. You know, do you know clips of the outside, clips of the inside, and then do roller shots of his truck. And and y'all leave a comment down below of what y'all think about his truck, man. Because this truck is absolutely crazy. Like I've always wanted a third gen mega cab. Like I've always wanted a third gen mega cab, but I, I love the fourth gen. I love the fourth gen mega cabs. The fifth gen mega cabs, they're pretty slick. They are slick. I'm gonna tell the you black, this. The jet black ones. Oh yes, and for just the fifth gen, best interior. Oh yeah. Hands hands down. Like hands down. They they make for like sh Dodge. They got that shit on lock for sure. But yeah, so we're fixing mine to do some clips right here. So let's get right to it on gang. Hey, babe. 
Come on, get in the car, let's go for a ride. Shit, just chilling. That type shit. Steady cruise. Alrighty guys, so we had to move to a different spot though because it was getting packed wherever we were at Georgetown. So we're fixed by see the motor right here. So what did you say about this motor was? Uh, it's a 5924 valve, it's an 05, put in an 06 body. Um, it's got bigger injectors, bigger turbo, cold air intake, and fast fuel system and that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the hood and let's check it out. He told me he said it was a bitch, right? Oh, you got the SMB cold intake. Okay. One on the wiring, bro. Else can do that himself. <laughs> of course, SMB elbow. I've always wanted those, but I know on SMB you can get a white one. Really? I swear to God, like I've been seeing it on the website. I'm like, bro, I want that so bad because I got an SMB on mine. Yeah, I still got the stock one. Just in case anything were to happen or anything like that. But yeah, so that's what the motor looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you this now. You said it's smoky, right? It's pretty smoky. Have you ever tested on the dyno? No, I haven't. Not yet. You should. Thinking about it. I think I'm gonna do some more things to it first before I you know, put it on the dyno. Alright. Alrighty, guys, so we're fixing about to do some clips of this 5.9 right here. Leave a comment down below what y'all think about this 5.9. I know that I've reviewed it a couple, a couple 5.9s. I know I did a single cab hood stack. I know y'all seen that one, but if y'all have it, y'all can check it out. I'll leave the link in the description, but let's get right to it, okay? All right, so I finally hired me a driver that's going to do my rollers. Everyone, meet Khan Supernusipo for Keenan the Hill. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? This get man. your ass on, buddy. Hey, what's up? <laughs> y'all already know the f no, I'm just with you. Her name is Saber. You know, y'all two are dating. I knew that for sure. Huh? I knew that for sure right there. I mean, yep. I mean, you got a 5'9, right? Is this yours? 6'7. Seven. Uh, 6'7. Six, seven. Oh, hey, hey, I'm going to tell you this now. I'm going to tell you some facts. I know you're dreaming about him. Niggas thought that I was faking Thought my life was a mistake, Y'all yeah. niggas thought that I was faking Thought my life was a mistake, yeah. It's the same drama going same trauma The same stuff that I feel Will I leave this earth this something? Can I please feel something real? Life's a bitch, no fairy tales No such thing as happy endings Can I get some real friends? Like my picture, like I'm printing Never trust a soul, suicidal since I was four I can't stand my fucking life I don't wanna live no more Family too, even blood On my own, straight out the mud Where was y'all people crying when I was on the ground drug? I pray to God that my feelings can change I just wanna be accepted when I'm not even strange It's just the pushing and shovel back Alrighty guys, so it is the next day The reason why I didn't finish the outro right there Is just because it was fixed by the rain So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it the next morning of course, the weather's changed, you know. That's how Texas is. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video today, guys. I hope you like this video today. I'm telling you all this. This is a crazy 5.9 i ever seen. I mean, I don't know what the horsepower on it is or the torque on it. For a 06 third gen 5.9 with a cabin chassis, that is crazy. I've never seen that truck that smoky before. I've seen, you know, I've seen like 7.3s and, you know, all that. But a 5.9... I mean, obviously, you know, you could do a couple of small things to a 5.9 that could smoke just like that. It's just crazy. And also, another thing is, I know most of y'all have me on social media, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, you know, whatever I have. I know that mo some of y'all know that I'm in a diesel magazine. So, if y'all haven't know that, so long story short, I had a guy email me all my emails asking for a phone interview with me and I thought it was a scam but you know I gave him my phone number and I swear I literally have a phone conversation with an editor from a diesel magazine asked me questions about my truck soon enough here comes my want to say a couple months ago I know I haven't posted it in a couple months like 
Like, I really, really apologize for that. It's just because I've been working too much. Like, it's like it is crazy out here. Here's the magazine that I'm in. So y'all go check them out. They have an Instagram. I'll leave their Instagram on this video. And shout out to my boy Seth Harper. He's the editor of Diesel Tech Magazines. He was the one that I was on the phone with him doing the interview and all. And basically on this magazine, they talk about UCC, which is the ultimate call-out challenge that they have in Indianapolis, Indiana. At that speedway over there. And all that all this basically is is talking about the recap of that whole event. But without further ado, so there's my truck right there, you know. Picture of my truck with the with the engine and then inside with the star lights and then you know and then at night with my 30 rock lights. Which I think is still crazy is, is that how bright my rock lights are. If y'all don't have any rock lights in y'all's truck, I leave the link in the description down below with my sponsor code for a horror lighting. So y'all go check them out because they're the best in the market right now. I don't care what people say. And then, and what's crazy is, is that about these pictures right here, those are my Instagram pictures that I took. Like, it's just crazy like how they use my Instagram pictures. Like, I took out of my cameras that, the camera I used to post on Instagram. And of course, here's me again. Of course, look at me. I'm so goofy and I'm, I was cold that day when I took that picture. It was when before it started getting warm and stuff. You know, at the end of the day, all you gotta do is just talk to the man above and he'll give y'all's blessings. I can promise you that. Like, I did not expect this to happen. And you know, when that door opened for me, all I gotta say is that I'm not a clout chaser. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video today, guys. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also, y'all please make sure to follow me on the media and your boy D washes out. Peace. Remember